Hello, Irving. Good evening. How was your day? Hello. Okay. It's a little busy. <laughs> Have you asked about uh, your papers uh, for the next module? Uh, today the the technical go to the I sorry to the to the work and take the the document. But the the uh, the they. They take the document direct from the the work. Oh, okay, okay. Then they will send you the information when the when the other course started. Yes. Okay. Good. And do you know Omar and Gabriel from work? Yes, so I think uh, they live uh, a little bit uh, far from work, so I think uh, I they are travel well, a little more. Okay. You you work nearby. Nearby your bit. home. Yes, a little bit. Okay, good. And how is your baby girl? Uh, right now, uh, she was playing, but she's on the bed right now. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried what I told you? Uh, yes, we are trying to tell her uh, a little stories and um, ah, that's, songs. That's great. If you tell her little stories, it's very, very good for her. It, 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 if you read them, it's better because in that way she will be a, like interesting on reading. Yes, my 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 mom, she give their day a a a little books and she loved them because Good. had a many drums. Very nice. Very nice. You can start also making her uh, cards with the letters and images from uh, the letters. For example, for a, a could be arbol and then a tree and, and the A. Okay. For for yeah. her to start learning the the letters with yes. with 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 nice things, things that you can create. You don't need to buy them. Yes. you can create yes. them at home. Even she can help you by coloring them. And she and like she will she... start to learn uh, to to color, to use pen. Yeah. Uh, there are yeah. some crayons, that big crayons, that yeah. are triangle. It's a triangle. Those those are she better loved. for for the children to take. She loves to draw. Yes. Yeah. Oh. I have one. Let me show you. Because it, it is better for the for the children to to get the to learn how to use pens, pencils and all that. It's better triangle than the other the other uh, things. I don't know where I place it. <laughs> I'm used to have them here. 
but I cannot find it. Maybe I use them one of these days and don't put it again. No, here it is. I oh, know. And when is your your vacation from work? Your annual August. vacation? When do you get On it? On December. On December. December. But yes. that's your your or from all the people in, in the world? All the people, the 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 entire, the entire. All the people go the go entire... go to 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 vacation the same time. Yes. Okay. Just a little bit. And, uh, and, and do you stop at any time because they have to make like a balance of what you have in store and storage and things like that. Yeah. Okay. And you have to go to work those days or you stop working? I stop working. Okay. When do they used to, to do that? And like um December eighteen, so Ah also December. Okay. Yes. To six or Six 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 on this, on January. Oh, it's a long period. Yes, it's it's, it's a. Oh, well, but you you work twenty four seven. <laughs> yes, we we work a lot in the year. And. They also have people working on on a cutting and in in sewing. También tienen personas yes. ahí cortando yes. la tela y y y y cosiendo. Or only material. I I in the area where where we cut the the pieces. Ah okay. We could uh -huh, yes. Then, then and there is another one the, for the sewing. The... There is another yes. area for sewing. So you 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 yes. complete all the all the underwear there. Ustedes completan las yes, piezas de, the de, de ropa. La sacan ya yes, so, solo para uh, ir a vender. Yes. So there there are three three companies three. Uh -huh. Three parts is the same. Uh -huh. But in one, one for the material. The, yes, we could and other uh, cosette. Sewing. So okay. Not so Good. Parece que solo usted va a venir. Omar is waiting to the group. See, see. <laughs> no one else will come. Do they yeah. uh, review your your platform? Do they told you that you already finished? No. Yes, it's, it's finished. And uh, you you can download your your diploma. No, yet, and it's a pair that. It's not ready yet. Okay. Because sometimes they put it available as soon as you finish the 80%. Yes. The, the last At month. least before. Yes. When, when I started, they do it that way. But I guess that they change it until the the platform is finished. It is better because sometimes the people already had the diploma and they don't care to get in. <laughs> yeah. They go away. <laughs> I finish. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, many of them do this. Well, what do you have about your likes and dislikes? I I like I like to spend my time with my family. I like to rest Do you and... how many uh, family members are you in the in the nuclear family? In my house only my wife and my daughter. Okay. Uh, you don't have contact with other relatives? Yes, uh, across the street live uh, is living my my sister and my mother. Ah, okay. Your sister lives with your mother or your mother lives with your sister? Uh, the, uh, it's, it's a part, but it, they are neighborhood. Yes. Ah, okay. No, because uh, they, they have different houses then. Yes, yes. Ah, okay. And, and you also have crops? And um, no, uh, well, yes, I have the a garden, but no, no crops, just uh, a few trees and and flowers. Yeah. Okay, what what types of fruital trees do you have? I have an uh, and don't I don't know how to say paterna. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Cacao. Oh have really? You have cacao? Good. Yes. We make chocolate. And you make chocolate? <laughs> nice. Yes. There, there is there is a two twice a year produce the cacao. Oh, nice. And and you don't have a what is the name of this thing? The one that, that smells bad, but is it's almost like it's it's like a a a, a, a that has circles inside. Carao. Carao. Uh huh. No, there the, there is a tree near to here. Uh, about three or four houses. I love how it looks when it has flower flowers in it. Red flowers. Very nice. So cute, so cute. I told some people that it seems to be a cherry tree. Parece yes. este, cuando está, yes. when, when it's in blossom, it, it seems to be a cherry tree. Yes. Mm -hmm. The tree, the, the tree there. Be, you don't uh, have oranges or uh, limons? Yes, I have an orange tree, but it's a, uh, how to say, agrias. They are very, very acid. Ah, okay. That that's good for for the health. You you may yeah. make a. If you don't want to to uh, eat them as they are, you can make a refreshments. So yes, a refresh the, the, neighborhood, the neighborhood come here to to. Uh, para pedirnos este the leaf, and make this. With the leaf. Oh yes, it's good also. And it's and good. and then, uh, to to make when we have uh the flu. Uh, we shower with the the water with leaf. Yes. It's so good too. Mm -hmm. And I have a isote flower too. Ah. I have I I got a uh, isote. I I yeah. have I have two plants of isote here. I hope they they get very big. Yes, yes. They get very big, but uh, they are small right now. But I I had them since they were like this, <laughs> and now they are like this, so they they are bigger. No, I have a, a one, one that is, is bigger, it's so big. I think this is like 10 years or more. Okay. Well, yeah. let's finish now. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to show you the adjectives, orders, and possessives. Okay. 
Uh, could you read the thought for today, please? One child, one teacher, one pen, and one book can change the world. Okay. That means that you don't need too much, okay, in order to change the world. And yeah. besides all this, the willing for the teacher to teach and the willing for the student to learn, okay? Now, uh, this is information about what is uh, an adjective, okay? Adjectives are words that describe or modify other words, making your writing and speaking much more specific and a whole lot more interesting. Now continue, Irving. Words like small, blue, and sharp are descriptive, and they are all examples of adjectives. Because, because adjectives ad are used to identify and quantify individual people and unique things, they are usually position positioned before the noun or pronoun that they modify. Some sentences contain multiple adjectives. The usual order of adjectives. When there are multiple adjectives in a sentence, they usually occur in a specific order. You won't always find them all in one sentence. And here, this is the, the order, okay? This is the noun. And all these before the noun are adjectives. But you are supposed to put uh, first, even before opinion, uh, there is number, okay? You have to say if there is one or if there are some or more, or two or three or whatever. But first is the number, then the opinion, the size, shape, condition, age, color, pattern, origin, material, and purpose. That's the order, okay? Sometimes if you don't have uh, an adjective for each of them, you can leave it. In, in here, they leave it uh, in blank, but uh, you can write them one after the other, okay? But uh, you have to keep the order. That means that if you have pattern and you put it at the beginning, it's wrong. It has to keep the their position. That's why you have to learn the order, or if you don't want to learn the order, at least learn, for example, this first sentence. You can learn the sentence, and in that way, you will know the order that uh, it is supposed to, to be, okay? Because you say, an ugly, small, thin, dirty, old, red, stripped, Italian, cotton, sleeping bag <laughs> okay and then you learn all uh, the, the, the 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 adjectives and in that way you know what order it has to be okay but you have to memorize all that and yes. in the order and then when you find any other uh, sentence with other adjectives you will keep in mind what is the order that it has to be, okay? And, and here there are other uh, examples of each type of adjectives. Th these are different types of adjectives, okay? And here uh, there are other examples. For example, a or an, how much or how many, beautiful, Little 
were old pale check French plastic scarf. <laughs> and then uh, one nice small brown new light strip English cotton shirt. Okay. In 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 that way. You may make your own sentences as well using some of these uh, adjectives, but keep them in the order. Remember that you don't need to put them all in a sentence, but you have to keep the order, okay? Okay. Now, uh, read the second one. Beautiful, long, white, French silk wedding dress. Wedding, wedding dress. Wedding dress. Okay. Now, when there are two or more adjectives that are from the same group, because that could be, the word and is placed in between the two adjectives because they are the same. Yeah, for example, mm -hmm. if you put two adjectives that talk about uh, the observation or the condition, you have to put N. For example, if you said it's an old N antique, okay? It means the same, but you can put it that way. Because, uh, for example, my car is old, but it's not an antique yet. Yeah. Okay? To be to be called an antique has to be very, very old. Very old. Uh-huh. The library has old in new books okay all in okay. new books it's uh, done uh, the same okay uh, read this please when there are three or more adjectives from the same adjective group group place a comma between each of the coordinate adjectives okay we live in the big green, white, and red house at the end of the street. O sea, todas se refieren a colores. Pero entonces se divide con una coma. Y al final se pone en. ¿Verdad? Entonces, porque aquí hay tres adjetivos de lo mismo. Entonces, cuando solo son dos, solo se pone en. Pero cuando son más, se lo va poniendo como. ¿Ok? Now, read number two, please. My friend lost a red, black, and white, and white watch. A comma is not placed between an adjective and a noun. Ok. Vale, aquí hay, estos están en desorden. Try to put them in order, please. No, I don't remember. Acuérdense, ¿qué, ¿qué iría primero? How many or how much? How many, huh? Yeah. Ajá, espérate, te voy a mandar. Um, eh, write me to my WhatsApp, please. Escribime a mi WhatsApp. Okay. Y te voy a mandar... Directamente al... Sí, sí, a, al mío, no al grupo. Te voy a mandar este, este, a ti. No, mándamelo a mí. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Right now.
Vaya. Ahorita te mando el 16. Y este, do you have a, a notebook en en pen? ¿Tenés yes, cuaderno ahí? Yes, I have. Va, entonces si quieres copiar el ejercicio, copiar los, los ejercicios así como están en desorden. Este para que yo te pueda poner eh, donde estaba en el orden que tenés que ponerlo. Okay. ¿Verdad? Porque es más fácil así. <ríe> cuando uno está viendo, o sea, cuando es primera vez que uno hace este ejercicio, es mejor estar viendo el orden. Oh. Ya después uno lo va haciendo como automático, ya cuando hace algunas prácticas. Ah, permíteme. Creo que tengo por aquí también. Permíteme. Permíteme. Creo que tengo... Sí. Te voy a mandar esto para que lo hagas mejor directo en la plataforma, en la en el ejercicio. Dale clic ahí para que entres. Y entonces, este, ya te lo mandé al WhatsApp. Y te voy a poner, yeah, yeah. y te voy a poner el, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Para que veas la dispositiva. ¿Cuál preferís? ¿Estas? ¿Estas? ¿O esta? Esa, ¿verdad? Pero acuérdate que aquí yes. siempre tenés que ponerle antes de opinión how many or how, or how, or how much. Before opinion. No, 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 no. Okay. Before opinion, how many or how much. Really? Good evening, Omar. No, Yes. Gracias. 
¿Está poniendo quejo? Sí. No sé qué tiene con la mamá. ¿eh? Ok. Yes. Omar, I send you a link to work with eh, this, this table. Ok. This is the order that the nouns, that the adjectives have before a noun. Ya lo pudo hacer, Uriel. Yes, the first. ¿Y qué, ¿Y qué tal le quedó? A new, le a pongo esto mejor. New... Son los no, mismos. Never... They yes, are the yes. same. They are the yes. same. I see that. Uh -huh. The person. A new. A the first. New cotton shirt. A, a, new, a, ajá, a beautiful. New. Cotton shirt. New cotton shirt. Excellent. And the other one? Uh, and you know, the second sería. Ah. Ah. Uh -huh. Short. Uh -huh. Plastic coat. All wooden house. All wooden house. Uh -huh. Porque el material yeah. va casi que ya casi al final, ¿verdad? Wooden. Uh, okay. uh, well, And the other one? Not about Some, well, because it, it, this is related to how many? Some okay. delicious, Some. ¿qué es la opinión? Delicious. Big. Big. Purple. Purple. Canadian grapes. Canadian grapes, excellent. Now, here, which is the noun? Two. Ah, the noun. The noun is apple. Apples. Entonces, esto ya sabe que va hasta el final. ¿Verdad? Y entonces, este number yeah. sería two. Yes, two. And then the opinion. Two, two beautiful, beautiful large, large green apples. Okay. And then here, the noun is movie. Yeah, movie. Okay. Entonces, movie iría hasta el final. Number. Primero el number ah. sería an. An interesting, Inter que es la opinión. An interesting new science fiction movie. movie. Okay. Omar, do you think you can do it now? Está calladito, Omar. O no sé si está teniendo problemas para ingresar, porque estaba diciendo que estaba, estaba lloviendo mucho. Sí, there is raining. Ok, entonces en este, ¿cuál sería primero? A. A, y después, de opinion, beautiful, ok. A, beautiful. All. All. Golden. Base. Excellent. Now, the other. A. A. a short. Short. Red uh -huh. plastic coat. Coat. Excellent. Coat. And here for four. Four nice. Four 
have a nice. Yo. Tall. Tall. Yeah, yes, tall. Young Salvadoran boys. Boys. Uh -huh. The next. Uh, uh, a beautiful. A beautiful. Old, uh huh. Old. Old. Blue carpet. Blue carpet. And a. A. Sweet. Sweet. A uh -huh, little. Sweet little black, black. puppy. Entonces, esto ya se lo mandé para que lo hiciera. Yes. Ahí mismo le dice si está bien o está mal lo que puso. Ahí está. Eso es lo que me gustan de los de las exámenes en línea, que de un solo se los califica. <risa> sí, sí. Ok, entonces ahora, eh, este es el que se conoce como Saxon Genitive. O sea, Saxon Genitive, es el, el, el apóstrofe S. Es el Saxon Genitive. Eh, le, lo conocen como apóstrofe S, Genitive, apóstrofe S, o Saxon Genitive. Saxon. We use it to show that something belongs to somebody. Ah, y cuando se, cuando se traduce, se traduce al revés. Por ejemplo... Eh, en este caso dice The boys ball La pelota Del niño Entonces, Va para atrás La pelota Del niño, o sea que esta apóstrofe S se traduce como que fuera Del, o sea de sí. él O de Por ejemplo Aquí dice El padre de la niña El salón de los alumnos. Entonces se traduce de atrás para adelante. No, pero sí. De, de, bueno, de adelante para atrás. Entonces, este. Read eh, the rule for singular nouns, please. Singular nouns. We add S, apostrophe S, to a singular noun. Example, the boys ball, the girls father, the pupils classroom. Okay. And for plural nouns, we have an apostrophe to a plural noun. The boys ball, the girls father. Si te fijas aquí, lo que pasa es que el plural de boy es boys. Entonces, el apóstro se pone después de la S y ya no se le pone la otra S, sino que solo se deja la apóstrofe después de la S del plural. Y eso ya sí. se sabe qué significa que es, este, ¿cómo se llama? Posesi. Entonces decimos, sí. la pelota de los niños, el padre de las niñas, el salón de los alumnos. ¿Verdad? Entonces, proper nouns. Both uses in the examples are allowed. Chris, dog, and or Chris, dog. Doris, cat, and Doris, cat. O sea que cuando son proper names, si usted quiere, después de la S, le agrega también apóstrofe S. O si no, lo deja como que fuera un plural noun. Ok, Omar, don't worry.
Okay, then we have irregular nouns. O sea, cuando, cuando los, los plurales son de nombres irregulares. Entonces, por ejemplo, el para child es children. Okay, y en ambos casos se pone apóstrofe S. Pero usted ya sabe que este es niño y este son niños. Eh, aquí, mouse y mice. ¿Verdad? Mice. Porque es el plural de mouse. Entonces, mans en mens. Hero, heroes. Wolf, wolves. ¿Verdad? Y también en lugar de apóstrofe S, usted puede ocupar el of para decir de. Y esto, y este es, eh, mantiene la escritura como que más como que fuera español, ¿verdad? Porque no. si se fija, o sea, no hay que hacer lo que le dije de, de, de adelante para atrás. Porque dice, eh, por ejemplo, the mother of my son, la madre de mi hijo. En cambio aquí, sí, sí va lo que le digo, la madre de mi hijo, va de adelante para atrás. En cambio aquí va en el orden que lleva, ¿verdad? O sea, porque el of se interpreta como de y, y, lo, y lo lleva así como que fuera en español, la madre de mi hijo. O sea, no necesita saltar de, a, de adelante para atrás. ¿Alguna duda o consulta con respecto a esto? No. no. Vale, entonces aquí dice que possessive apostrophe. We use an apostrophe when we talk about things belonging to people. Singular apostrophe S. This is Jane's house. That is my friend's bike. Uh, read the, the plural, please. The, the word, do words with apostrophes together. Example is that aunt's, aunt's car. Is that the car that belongs to the aunt of aunt? ¿Verdad? Entonces es el carro de la tía de Ana. <laughs> ok. Eh, esto es Parece cuando. Sí, belonging okay. to two people. Cuando pertenecen a dos personas, this is Carol and Tony's house. O sea, el apóstrofe S se pone en la segunda persona. ¿Verdad? Aunque okay. la casa pertenece a los dos. Now, read it, please. Belonging to the, I will say, the first. Name sending in Use S. Yes. San James Park. Uh -huh. Okay, San James Park. Okay. Use, Use apostrophe. apostrophe. Uh -huh. In front of the, in front of the S. Of irregular plural words, example, women's, children's, men's. Uh -huh. There is no apostrophe in possessive pronouns. Yours, hers, its, ours, theirs. O sea, de, así se escriben y no necesitan de poner la apostrofe. We can use of when we talk about things belonging to things. Example, the roof of the house was damaged. Okay. Of is not always necessary. Example, I saw this dress in the store windows. So I don't need to say stores window. Ya, poniéndola antes, ya sé que es la ventana de 
la tienda. Ok. Own and belong. Example, I own this bike. This bike belongs to me. Belongs Ambas to cosas me. significan lo mismo. O sea, yes. I own this bike. O sea, me pertenece esta, esta bicicleta. Y el otro dice, esta bicicleta me, eh, me pertenece. ¿Ok? Do you own this bike? Does this bike belong to you? Es lo mismo. ¿Ok? O sea, own y belong es lo mismo. Solo sí. cambia un poco eh, cómo es que se usa. ¿verdad? Porque el own va antes de decir qué es lo que le pertenece. En cambio aquí, primero dice lo que le pertenece y después dice belong to. Cambia, ¿no? Ajá. O sea que primero dice qué es lo que le pertenece y le dice belong to. ¿Ok? Aquí estamos hablando de los... Eh, reforzando otra vez lo de los pronoms. Que el personal pronoun, en este caso como subject, en este caso como object, este es possessive pronoun, o sea, aquí no necesita de ponerle un nombre después de esto, y está el adjective pronoun, que en este sí necesita un objeto inmediatamente después, porque está ocupando como que fuera un adjetivo. Entonces, un adjetivo necesita de un nombre al cual va a este, identificar. Entonces, por ejemplo, aquí tendría que decir, que sé yo, my eh, friend, your mother, his children, her cousin, its house, our car, your uh, shoes, their bags. O sea, siempre hay que ponerle algo, porque tiene que estar modificando algo. Aquí hay ejemplos de, el, el primero sería con genet, eh, 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 Saxon genitive, el segundo es con un adjective pronoun y el tercero es con un possessive pronoun. Entonces, sí. este, le voy a leer el primero. This is Ruth's car. This is my car. This car is mine. Está como, como el own y el belong, ¿verdad? Que no, no, no. cambian de posición eh, qué es lo que pertenece. And now, read number, number two, please. These are Mary, Mary's case. These are her case. Her keys. This, keys. Keys. Oh, sorry. These uh -huh. keys are hers. Excellent. Now, that is Trevor's house. That is his house. That house is his. Those are Jay and Joe's kids. Those are the... Those kids are theirs. Okay. Te, ya, ya vio la, la diferencia. Saxon Jennifer. Sí. Eh, possessive... O sea, uh, uh, adjective and possessive pronoun. pronoun. Yeah. Yes. Entonces, con eso, ya so, tuvimos yeah. el refuercito. Ahora, este... ¿Alguna duda o consulta que le haya quedado de todo lo que vimos en, en las cinco secciones? No. ¿No? ¿Todo estuvo bien? Ok. Solo repasar un poquito las que no estuve. ¿Las qué? Las que no estuve. Por ejemplo, la de, la de, la de los números, la de How Often. La de, Ah, la de, la de, la clase, ¿cuál fue? Permita. La clase 14, la de lunes. 
Yes, ajá, sí, sí, nada. Me costó un poquito. Permítanme, que ahorita le vemos eso. Ahorita lo vamos a repasar un ratito. Esto. Eh, 100% all. Me da el 100% todos. Después este sería como un 90% y así. Le vamos bajando hasta que llegamos al 0% que es no one. ¿Verdad? No one. Entonces, eh, eh, este también lleva un orden. All, nearly all, most. Many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, and no one. ¿Verdad? E e ese es el orden como quantifiers, ¿verdad? Estamos, estamos como diciendo qué tanto por ciento hicieron tal o cual cosa. Entonces aquí cuando dice nearly all women work. Nowadays, o sea, casi todas las mujeres trabajan en, en, actualmente. ¿Verdad? ¿Por qué dice nearly all? Porque son casi todas, no son todas. Mm. ¿Verdad? Aquí dice, no one gets married before the age of 80. O sea, nadie. ¿Verdad? Nadie. Se casa antes de los 18. Yo mm. sé de gente que sí se casa, pero tienen que pedir permiso a los padres. ¿Verdad? Yes. Si no, están quebrantando la ley. Entonces, aquí vaya, por ejemplo, dice. Most children start school at the age of five. Aquí sí. está eh, el, el quantify, está sirviendo en vez del determiner. El determiner es T-H-E, da. Yeah. Entonces aquí en lugar de decir da children, entonces dice most children. Yeah. We ate some bread and butter. Some se ocupa este para más nows también, ¿ok? Estas son más nows. We saw lots of birds. We saw lots of birds. Y aquí dice eh, cuando que okay, estas pueden ser usadas tanto con can como on can nows. Y aquí están los ejemplos. I have lots of time. Yo have lots of friends. I can go out. I've got not money. There was a lot of food, but no mm -hmm. drinks. Okay. Y este, ¿alguna duda con respecto a esto? No, no me tengo que No. Okay. Bien, entonces, ya ustedes están oficialmente terminando el, el preintermedio módulo 1. Se dirigen a preintermedio módulo 2, ¿verdad? Espero que todo le vaya bien. Eh, guarden mi número de teléfono, cualquier duda o consulta que tengan con respecto a algunas cosas, también me pueden contactar a mí. ¿Ok? Sí. Se cuidan, Dios me los bendiga. Sí. Que sigan siempre aprovechando todo lo que puedan para irse mejorando. Entre, entre más nos capacitamos, es mejor. ¿Ok? Y así también Bien. le enseña a su hija de que tiene que estudiar, ¿verdad? Porque si ella Bien. dice, mi papá estudia, yo también tengo que estudiar. ¿Ok? Sí. Take care. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bless you, teacher.